Yo buddies, what's up? Welcome back. Beaker here. Guys, I just accidentally trophy pushed from Gold League all the way up to Masters League just from defense. <laughs> now that may not sound like a huge achievement yet, but I thought it was pretty cool. And where is this going to end? I don't really know. I mean, I have a almost max town all 10 base, so defending, I can do it pretty good. All right, guys, real quick, I want to show you the defense log. Look at this. So I lost the last few, lost a lot of dark and loot. But these people are going hard. I mean, they're, they're serious. We're going to watch those in a minute. But look, before this, wins, wins, baby. Yeah. And, you know, occasionally, look at this dude. He goes in four spells for five trophies. <laughs> <laughs> nice nice return on investment what else we got here wins wins baby wins and oh that guy beat me but he used five spells now this is something weird i see in masters league all the time people going all out hear me out here this dude he got five thousand dark sure i i get that that's awesome but couldn't he have found an easier base and just use one spell just a thought. That's that's kind of how I play it. A lot of the times, I just look for an easier base and do it that way. But to each his own. If he had fun, it's all good. So uh, let's go up here and watch some of these raids, dudes. All right, all right. We got uh, Sticks. My boy Sticks. No, this is not my boy. I, I don't know this guy at all. So what category is this guy in? Would you say he's a farmer or a trophy pusher? I don't know. I mean, he's got kind of a farming army, but then he's got a bunch of golems. It's like, uh I don't know. Do people farm with uh, three golems? He might even have four golems. What's in his clan castle? He's going to drop it here soon, I think. This is pretty interesting. I kind of like what he's doing here. Yeah, there's another golem. Okay, so here's what I think he's doing here. I think he is basically farming, but he's trying to keep his trophies up. So what he does is he uses the bar troops to kind of clear the sides and then just drops a ton of golems with his queen and some spells right in the middle and if you guys have ever done like a gohog raid or anything like that you can do this you can drop a ton of golems with your queen and she's just gonna go in there bop, 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 bop. <laughs> just like that and uh take out everything in her path you know if you protect the queen she good she's gonna take out so much and it's you know especially if she's max level 40 so pretty good plan man you know really utilizing the queen to the fullest extent she can and also, we had some archers and a couple of wizards in the mix there. And they killed it too. So, pretty interesting raid. You know, he only got... You see, this is this is my problem with this raid. So, he used three spells. And he got 3,000 dark. A little bit of gold too. And a little bit of trophies. But not much. You know? Couldn't he have found an easier raid than me? I mean, I'm a max tunnel 10. I know I had 3,000 dark. I get that. But... I find bases with 3,000 dark or close to that all the time that are very easy. You know, you guys watch my uh, Dark Elixir Time series. I'm usually not this high in trophies, but you can find easy bases anywhere. So why do people hit max bases? I don't know. I don't know. It's like the Masters League thing. People hit any base up here, no matter who you are. So it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool being in the higher ranges because you get to see replays like this. So let's watch another, guys. All right, buddies. Same base, same dude, Beaker09. What's this guy doing? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I always make fun of this attack, but I do it now, and it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. The uh, the old mass golem spam. It's pretty fun, man. If you spread your golems out a little more, I found it's a lot more effective. Like, if homie had put, I don't know, maybe made one more entry point, like over here, maybe. Uh, that's what I would have done. But anyway, let's see how he does it. So he's going in basically a straight line. You know, all his troops are kind of bunched up. Sometimes that's dangerous, but seems to be going okay so far. He has freeze spells too. So he's probably going to drop him any second now. No, he's not. Kind of too late, buddy. <laughs> all your wizards are dead. Oh, and now he drops the freeze. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so, yeah. Generally, guys, you want to drop those freeze spells to protect your wizards. Because your golems, they don't really care about infernos. What? Oh, that's my golem. I was like, why isn't that Inferno working? What? That's my golem. What's up, golem? Go fight that queen. Go fight that king. Yeah. What up, golem fight? Yeah. My golem's doing nothing, man. <laughs> golem is terrible on defense. It's just what I happen to have, though. You know, quite often, I do have golems on defense because I just request them all the time. So what's going on here? What was this guy doing? That Back to that question. Was this guy farming or was this guy trophy pushing? Hmm. You know, sometimes 
I go out with crazy armies because I just happen to have them. You know, you make a crazy army overnight and you log on. Even you're, if, if you're in Gold League, you do that. So that could be what we saw here. Or maybe this guy just likes to farm with crazy armies and uses five spells and crazy armies just to, to farm loot. I mean, he did get a decent amount of loot. I don't know, man. It's just interesting to see how different people play. Uh, you know, as far as farming goes, it's not one distinct thing. You don't have to just bang on inactive bases to be a farmer. You can you can do it this way, too. A lot of people in my clan, they've gone all the way up to champion and even higher to farm. Just use their normal trophy pushing army and just try to get a, a lot of loot whenever they can. So it's interesting. I think this guy was mostly trophy pushing. We're trying to get the loot too because after he got the second star, he stayed around and tried to get more loot. So, you know, of course, he wants more loot. And uh, he has a level 20 king, so he's got to upgrade that buddy. Anyways, that's it for the defenses I have today, guys. Oh, look, he got good, uh, good trophies in defense too. That's awesome. Anyways, guys, that's it for now. What are we going to see in the future? I don't know. I mean... I think defense is going to change a little bit now. I think it's going to get a little harder. I think people are going to come at me with five spells quite often. But still, you know I'm going to win. A lot of people are going to come by and just try to farm me and drop trophies on me. So, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below how high you think I can defend. I might be able to defend all the way up to champion. I don't know. I've never done this before. But I've seen other people do it. And if you log on a lot and you check your traps load your clan castle, keep your heroes awake, you can get really high just from defense. So, here we go, dudes. Wish me some luck on defense. Should be pretty fun. Masters League, you know, you never know what you're gonna find. You might, you might get attacked by somebody completely lower level than you, or somebody might go really hard, as you've seen. So, you never know. But I think we are gonna keep gaining trophies. We'll see. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments below. Wish me luck, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!